Hello again, everybody. Scott Casper, Takedown Media. Our coverage of the sport continues today. We head up to Minnesota, and that's where we find Joe Rao joining us in the Nike hot seat today. Joe, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing, Scott? Good, man. How is the Rao Plow? Oh, uh, the Rao Plow is doing great. He's having some fun wrestling freestyle, you know, haven't done in a while. So, you know, it's, uh, it's a nice change up. It is a nice change up. I mean, I've known you as a Greco guy through and through. You've called Greco home for a while. I remember what, in 2014, you made the Greco Roman uh, world team at 80. Last year, you won the Olympic trials at 98. Uh, you came up short at the trials this year uh, to uh, Ben Provisor in the finals. So you thought, eh, if I can't do Greco, I might as well try your hand at freestyle. How did that happen, and how easy is it just to let the guys at USA Wrestling know that you want to go ahead and try freestyle on that day as well, or the weekend anyway? Well, it's not really easy. You know, it, it kind of – some coaches will get a little mad. You know, I don't know if you know Momir Pekovic. Sure. Uh, he's our Olympic champion coach from Serbia, but sometimes you'll see me uh, leg grabbing as Greco guys call it. And they'll come over and they'll bless me. <laughs> he'll bless me in Serbian. <laughs> and some coaches joke around about it. And some are actually don't like Greco guys doing freestyle, but you know, most coaches are excited that I decided to do it and that, you know, feel like I'm representing Greco guys in freestyle and, you know, we've had other guys do it, like Hazelwinkle made an Olympic team, you know, after, you know, he tried his hand at Greco for a long time and he switched over to freestyle. And I think wrestling is wrestling, you know, and I have fun doing both. Um, some coaches don't agree with it, but most most do. And most see, you know, like my Greco season is over for now. So why not? You know, you competed in freestyle for the first time since, I don't know, I'm, I'm going to say, is it Midlands? Was that the first time? Yeah, I wrestled Midlands. In 20, yeah, I wrestled Midlands in 2014. That's probably the last time I did some leg grabbing, but so, freestyle probably 2012 or something like that. Some of the guys on the internet are calling what you did uh, that was rather impressive a nasty head pinch. <laughs> um, you and I call it something different. Uh, we call yeah. it front headlock. Um, yeah. Talk about employing a front front headlock. Uh, in freestyle because if it's put on correctly man i tell you what it's a beautiful thing to see oh yeah and uh you know just talking with the freestyle coaches out here um and the goal for coaches um you know jared lawrence and and becker and agum and kind of just going through it and even guys like ness you know they have kind of they they really like it and they like me implementing that greco technique into you know, freestyle and there's different little things I got to figure out since now they can grab my legs. But, um, in Greco, you know, I'm a parterre guy and, uh, you know, between, you know, my front headlock, that's kind of the one that I was doing the other day. And then the Robbie Smith one, I like to switch it up to the Robbie Smith kind of style headlock too. And Greco, um, I'm just kind of figuring out how I can implement those techniques in freestyle. And for me, it actually is kind of easier to hit them in freestyle because guys don't know how to defend them as right. well as guys do. And that, 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 that was going to be my next question because you obviously com really confounded your opponents, uh, uh, Quentin Godley, uh, Vic Avery. I mean, you, when you employ that headlock, they don't, again, know how to defend against it. And then you're able to, uh, really take it to them. You know, I've watched the finals several times and it's a, it's a pretty thing to see. They didn't know how to defend against you. So why not do this all the time? Why not? Why don't more of our Greco vets do this as, as fun, but also as a way to expand their, uh, uh, their utility bag as it were. Absolutely. And my teammate Hayden Zilmer, he also took second at world team trials at 98 kilos. Um, we both have that mentality. And I think a lot of guys have that mentality. Um, I know the freestyle guys out here like to wrestle Greco with us. They wrestle at the open. Um, you know, kind of believe wrestling is wrestling. We grow up our whole lives wrestling all styles, most of us. And then, you know, then we're told we have to pick and choose when we get older. And, you know, what if they don't conflict with each other, why can't we wrestle both styles? They used to do it, you know, back in the day. There was plenty of examples of guys doing it high-level Greco guys wrestling freestyle and vice versa. You know, to me, it's just fun. I love wrestling, and that's not 
you know, I, that's not limited to one style. So, you know, whenever it doesn't conflict, I want to wrestle freestyle too. And I tried to do the last chance in 2015, but, you know, my coaches for Greco didn't think it was a good idea. Um, so I didn't do it. But this this time around, I kind of, uh, you know, stuck to my guns. And I was like, I really want to wrestle it. You know, I'm going to have fun. All right. So you win your way through the LCQ. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> that gets you an opportunity to wrestle at the Freestyle World Team Trials in Lincoln on the 10th of June and uh, for a chance to make the world team. All right. Here's what you've done. <laughs> in many ways, you're poking the bear. <laughs> Yeah, and this is going to be a huge test for everybody involved because David Taylor hasn't wrestled a Greco guy in a while. But guess what? You get to wrestle David Taylor. He gets to wrestle you. Uh, yeah, <laughs> all for the all for the honor of being able to wrestle Jaden Cox. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How does this? Oh really yeah. Go your estimation. What do you think? You know what? I I don't know, and I don't I don't really care either. Like I'm going. <laughs> I'm going to have fun, and I think I could beat anybody. But you know what? If they whoop up on me because my freestyle is a little rusty, then I, I'm not going to feel bad about it at all. You know, it's a chance I'm willing to take. I can go out there and look like a fool, but I don't feel like a fool. I'm, I'm going out there to win, and I'm going to go out there and have fun. You know, even this last chance, I didn't, like, go out there with an extreme amount of confidence. Like, I was just like, you know what? I'm going to wrestle because I like freestyle, and I'm going to have fun. And I still think I could beat anybody. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. But how are we going to figure that out unless I go out there and try, right? I think <laughs> your favorite quote is, throw your heart over the fence and the rest will follow. That's a Norman Vincent Peale quote, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah. And and I truly believe that. I really do. If you are in, you go all in. And Absolutely. I, I can really can't wait to see what happens. I'm going to be watching this match. I'm going to be watching the mini tournament, and then I'm going to watch if you do make through David Taylor, and I believe you've got the heart to get it done. I can't, can't wait to watch you take yeah. on Jaden Cox. Dude is super thick and super crafty, but it's going to be an interesting weekend for sure. You've got the, you've got the qualification. Let's face it. You're a freestyle All-American at the Fargo Junior Nationals, 110 career yeah. victories on the high school front. I mean, you've gotten it done. In college, you know, national champ, uh, three-time All-American, four-time conference champ, junior Greco-Roman All-American, University of Nationals All-American in both styles. This is something that we can, we can actually use as an example as to why we should be doing this on a regular basis. I agree. My estimate. I, I mean, I, I'm a huge believer and uh, no matter where you, you start from or, or what level of wrestling you're at, you should try and just get to be the best wrestler you can be. I mean, I wrestled at Division three college, and it always bothered me that a lot of guys just, they they limit themselves. Like, oh, I'm just a D3 guy. And I, I think, why not make yourself the best wrestler you could possibly be? So I always would be trying to wrestle D1 guys in tournaments and practices. And same thing. You know, for if you're a Greco guy, why sell yourself short? You don't know. I, I'm pretty sure that Andy Bezik could have done pretty well in, free, in freestyle. If he gets on top, who's going to stop his gut? I believe that Harry Lester would have been, you know, a world medalist in freestyle. Right. You know, but but if you don't try, and I think, you know, guys like Ryan Mango could do great in freestyle. But if you don't try it, then how will we have it all helps. It all, you know. You know, whatever it is, it's another competition, and competing is competing, and most of it's up here, and it's going to be fun, and uh, it's going to help me out for for Greco, if nothing else. In the long run, I I believe you're absolutely right. So it's going to be an interesting weekend coming up, July fifteenth, Humble, oh, yeah. Iowa, is the Frank Gotch World Championships grappling or catch wrestling anyway World Championships. What are the chances we could get you and some of the guys to come down and challenge all comers like Curran Jacobs and others in Humboldt, Iowa? It's a short hop, skip, and a jump from the Twin Cities. When's that? What, Ju what's Ju that? July 15th. We might be in camp in Colorado, but if I'm not, I would go. Okay. I actually bought a, I bought a DVD <laughs> on Frank Gotch from the, the Iowa uh, National you know, Wrestling uh, Hall of Fame. Sure. Yeah, and... Uh, Alec Ortiz, his girlfriend or his wife, 
Sorry, it's from the same town as Frank Gotch. So we're always talking about him. Well, think yeah, about that. Kevin Dressers from from Humboldt, Iowa. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, our buddy from uh, Purdue, uh, the head coach of Purdue, who's named Tony uh, Ersland, is from Humboldt, Iowa. My trainer is oh, from Humboldt, Iowa. Uh, there's so many people from Humboldt. And then, of course, little old Frank Gotch from Humboldt, Iowa. Matter of fact, that's going to be kind of a celebration weekend of wrestling. So check your schedule if you want more information. Yeah. Maybe you can get back with me because I'll get you in that dang tournament. I'll be announcing it. And it would be cool to have you there. Okay. July 16th. July 15th. 15th. All right. I'll check. All right. I haven't me... got my itinerary yet, but we <laughs> might be in Colorado. But if not, I'll be happy to wrestle it. Would you uh, you heard the news? Joe Russell's been hired away from George Mason as a new coach for USA Wrestling, the developmental side. What were your thoughts on that immediately? Um, that's that's awesome. You know, I know Joe Russell from going to J. Rob camps, and a lot of these um, go for wrestlers out here have a really good relationship with uh, with Joe, and uh, you know he's a great guy. He has a, you know, a crazy story and uh, he really knows how to relate to his wrestlers and everyone I know Ron speaks very highly of him. Um, I just, I loved uh, learning from him at camp way back, back when and I've known him in passing here and there. Uh, I just, one thing that always stuck out to me is that he made it fun. He used to have all these little songs he would sing. And I think at that level, he, it's perfect because he knows how to make it fun for that uh, developmental level. Um, he's, he'll, Great guy for the job. Joe Rao's been our guest in the Nike hot seat today. He's proven himself. He's a commodity in Greco. Is he in freestyle? We'll know for <laughs> sure. You're coming up in a few days in Lincoln, Nebraska. Joe, it's always good to see you. I do appreciate the time. Oh, thank you, Scott. It was fun. Next time, let's do a little comedy bit, okay? <laughs> yeah, we'll do. <laughs> I'll be the heckler, and you be the one putting the heckler down. <laughs> all right <laughs> i'll practice up for all of us to take down our podcast i guess